your seats. We're ready to proceed with tonight's program. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Colin McLean, and I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2011 Business Awards and Gala Dinner. This time, it is my privilege to welcome and acknowledge our honored dignitaries in attendance this evening. The Honorable Tim Oppel, Minister of State for Dramat uh, Democratic Reform, Mr. Leon Benoit, MP of Vegreville, Wainwright, Ms. Iris Evans from MLA Sherwood Park, Mr. Dave Quest from MLA Sherwood Park, Her Worship Mayor Linda Ostenchuk, Mr. Peter Court, President of the Sherwood Park Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Steve Zink, Vice President of Finance and Consulting, Northern Alberta for the Business Development Bank of Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, our special guests. Well, let's begin with our first award of the evening. The Sherwood Park Strathcona County News selected six stories for the past year that they felt were significant to the community and were of a positive nature and one that moved the community forward. Uh, our finalists are the Strathcona County Library Opens, that's an event, the Synergy Wellness Center Opens, another event, and the world's longest hockey game. Drum roll, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He shoots, he scores! World's longest hockey game. This is the Community Service Involvement Award. The recipient must be an organization or group that has contributed in a significant way, financially or by means of volunteerism. Our finalists are Christensen Developments Limited, Mud, Sweat and Gears, what a great name, and the Triline Disposal Incorporated. An award goes to Mud, Sweat and Gears. So congratulations. Uh, this is the Don Neil Young Entrepreneurial Award, and the finalists were J. Check Chocolat Couture, Moksha Yoga Sherwood Park, and Shignansky Construction. And the winner is J. Check Chocolat Couture. Our next award for investment, job creation, growth, and expansion. The finalists were Canadian Industrial Paramedics Limited the River City Event Rentals, and the Sawmill Prime Rib and Steakhouse in Sherwood Park. And to Chris, our winner is... Speak into the mic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's all about using technology. And the winner of Investment, Job Creation, Growth, and Expansion Award goes to the Sawmill Prime Rib and Steakhouse. I'm Carlo Capito, the general manager of the Sawmill in Sherwood Park. Um, on behalf of uh, Richard and Vicky, the owners of uh, Sawmill in Sherwood Park, my management team, the staff, I'd like to uh, express our sincere gratitude to um, the Sherwood Park and District Chamber of Commerce for putting a, such a prestigious event. Our next award is for environmental protection and occupational safety. Our finalists are Flint Energy Services Limited, H2O Logics Incorporated, and Rona Home Center. The winner is Flint Energy Services. Wow, this is uh, truly a shock. I want to thank all the chamber members, Derek Pine exclusively. He, uh, he got us back involved with the chamber. We've been up in uh, the capital region for 64 years here, and uh, it's nice that Flint is uh, being recognized for some of the things that we're doing. We're 10,000 employees strong, and we're, we're trying every day to bring home everyone at the end of the day. So this means a lot. We appreciate your recognition, and to all the chamber members and the distinguished guests, thank you. Our next award is for Innovation New Small Business Product Service or Work System, currently with less than 10 employees. And uh, the finalists are Advico Financial Planning Group Incorporated, Key Lime Athletic Wear, and Sweet Sue's Candy Incorporated. Peter. Advico Financial Planning Group. What we did when we started Advico is we wanted something to be different about what, how we were helping our clients. And the name actually Advico, we get asked a lot, is actually Latin for advoco, which means to have an advisor or to have an advocate. And we, we really focus on making sure that we're our clients' advocates when they need us and we give them the advice that they need. So 
Thank you very much to everyone here in the chamber for the award. Really appreciate it. Uh, the next uh, award is for innovation, new, large business. The finalists, Mainstay Suites, Sherwood Ford, and Synergy Wellness Center. And the winner is Synergy Wellness Center. Thank you. Uh, again, much of a shock. Um, on behalf of my partner, Dr. Wing Lim, and myself, Ron Mackey, and our Synergy Group, which uh, Bill Stowe is our marketing director at our table, we want to say thank you. Uh, this has been a three-year odyssey of bringing improved health care delivered to our community. Our next award is a long-time service slash legacy. The finalists are Clark Builders, Salisbury Greenhouse, and Suncor Energy Edmonton Refinery. And the Longtime Service Legacy Award goes to Suncor. <laughs> the refinery, I want to say thank you to the Chamber. This is our 60th year of uh, business. Um, in 1951, when the facility was built by British American Oil, actually, uh, that was four years before the first houses were built in Sherwood Park. Um, so we've been around for a while. Ladies and gentlemen, the business of the year. The business should relate to their strengths and successes in areas of growth, stability, human resources, community involvement, customer service, marketing and promotional achievements, improv improvements in the quality of products and service, or increased productivity. <laughs> the finalists are Alstrom Wright Oliver and Cooper LLP, Canadian Industrial Paramedics Limited, and the Sawmill Prime Ribbon Steakhouse, Sherwood Park. Business of the year goes to Alstrom Wright, Oliver and Cooper. Honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank the uh, Chamber of Commerce for this great award. And to a great measure, it's been due to the citizens of Sherwood Park, and especially due to the Chamber of Commerce, which has been a wonderful support mechanism as we've gone, gone along. It's really, really great to see the number of members we've got, the amount of volunteerism in this community as we sit in this wonderful facility. And we have facilities in this county where the business organizations have got behind that are second to none and are the envy of the rest of Canada, Alberta, and even our neighbor to the west. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much. I'd like to thank all of the members of the chamber. I'd like to thank my family. I'd like to thank all my lawyers and staff for all the hard work that's sort of got us here. And, and thank you very, very much. It's a tremendous honor. Thank you.